Good morning world. I have a lot of work to do on the camper today and I'm gonna take you with me, show you what I've got planned, but first things first, breakfast. times a day. <laughs> Probably no more than that though. <laughs> what did they just find out, wife? <laughs> While researching the type of data we need for, for uh, our trip here, I found out some interesting statistics between my wife and mother-in-law. <laughs> surely, surely we don't text 700 times. Wait, in 11 days? In 11 days. Isn't That's that, not possible. Isn't that about 70 You're... times a day? That's about 70 times a day, yeah. That's about right. <laughs> 13 times yesterday. It was a sl slow day yesterday. That we seems were... like a lot to me, though. Because, because we, we were together. together. We text that, yeah, because we're together, we were together all the time, so we don't need to text yesterday. that <laughs> much. <laughs> I've always known my wife and mother-in-law texted a lot. I remember one time <laughs> Can you, you said... You thought we had a problem. <laughs> well, I, prior to meeting her, my texts were like 20 in a month. Oh boy. <laughs> Can you imagine how much we used to text? Can you imagine how much we texted before we lived together? Well, see, we text a lot now because sometimes you're downstairs and I'm upstairs. Or sometimes I'm in the camper and you're in the house. Or I'm in the, I'm in the camper and you're in the garage. <laughs> You see? There's it's it's all legit. It's all 700 plus times in 11 days. 70 times a day. I still don't believe that. Okay, breakfast is done, dishes are done. Time to get to work. Today it is very cold out, so as you can see, I'm in my snow gear. It's actually not that cold out, but it's been really warm. And so my body's all used to the warmth and I hate being cold. So I'm in my snow pants and my coat because I have to work in the garage. Let's go build a bed. Okay, so I didn't film yesterday. I was just kind of having an off day. I didn't feel like putting makeup on or contacts in or any of that. So, but this is what I got done yesterday. Cut the top part of the frame. It's going to need a piece of wood along here where there will be wheels attached for when the slide comes in. The slide comes into right about here. And so far, just the square frame is attached. None of those little wooden blocks are attached. I'll show you there. Right now they're, they're just loose sitting there for this to, to balance on. So nothing's secured. But yesterday, right before I put the kids to bed, I 
did a curbside pickup at Lowe's and got some metal brackets. Because since time is of the essence, I'm not going to take the time to teach myself how to do pocket holes and work with the Craig Jake yet. Uh, I was really looking forward to that, and I was really honestly looking forward to learning a lot of new things and taking the time to teach myself with this project, but we are really down to the wire. I don't have that time luxury, so I'm basically just doing my best to just throw it together as fast as possible, not trying to make it really, really pretty not trying to do things like the really professional way, just sticking some screws in and that's Felicity knocking on the door. Let's go see what she wants. We're on a major time crunch so it's hard for me not to get frustrated when the kids interrupt me every few minutes. We really want to get out by May 1st so that we have plenty of time to go and do and see all the things we want to go and do and see. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna get to work. Okay, I just measured along the distance between here and here because I'm gonna put a little one by one strip that will support the slats for the bed. So I'm gonna go measure and cut those now. Okay guys, Mike just called us in for dinner, so I'm going to put things away, finish up, and that'll be it for today. Hello world. Well, the hitch finally came for the fifth wheel, so it's time to install it into the truck. And then we can finally move this camper that's been sitting in our driveway for about seven months now. So let's get to it. Alright, so in the bed of the truck we got the we got the hitch there ready to be installed. Theoretically the hitch is supposed to just drop right in. Um, we will see how that goes. If you like this video, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.